Hello, uh, welcome, or welcome back, um, if this is not your first time, um, to another episode of Elok Souls. I think the, the second official episode, actually, um, since you know I started with with the with the motion graphics. You know, hello. <laughs> um, today we're making this jacket that I'm wearing right now. Um, it's like a zip up flannel situation has like these uh pockets but we're gonna get into that later i just want to say to start the video off i want to say thank you for a thousand subs um i didn't think we actually get here when i started uh, my first video like i didn't even think i'd get 500 views but like yo look at where we are now um so thank you for the support number one and thank you for the support on my etsy as well um yeah just seeing like a lot of good reviews um some negative ones of course but you know you always try to like improve you know that's the whole point you know i love the feedback and I always try to like you know keep bettering the shop but thank you for everyone who's bought something and thank you for the positive reviews thank you for the negative reviews because <laughs> we're getting better you know um more about the jacket um i think i actually told you all about it already but yeah, I guess like we should just see how it looks, you know. Um spin up pockets. See how structured it looks. Has this like you know, I don't know man, just this structure. <laughs> uh But yeah, I'll be showing you step by step how to do it from actually like cutting the fabric uh, from the pattern, uh, sewing it, you know, every step, even lining it. Um, I know something I used to like struggle with was lining the, the sleeve opens. Um, I'll show you how to do that, how to, yo, I'll show you everything. It even has a tag. Show you that, <laughs> show you the tag. Um, and here they without further ado without talking anymore uh let's get into it there's a link in the description for the pattern otherwise you can search by belong 19 on google and find it comes in different sizes and stuff and i'm pretty sure it's actually on sale um but yeah so after printing it all you do is tape it together highlight the size that you want and cut it out there's information on the pattern about the, the name of the pattern piece the duration of the grain line and where to place uh the piece on a fold i also added a twist sorry i also added a test square to confirm the the scale for you um and yeah pretty much that's it yeah So your back piece is gonna be on the fold. Um, as you can see here, I almost made a grave mistake and I put the, the front where the back should be and the back where the front should be. So don't be like me, um, put your back piece uh, correctly.
The hard part's done and you can pat yourself on the back. All that's left to do now is just to add the lining and you can pretty much do that by checking out the next video. Thanks for watching and peace out.